Hi there, this is Adrian at MBX. Uh, so we thought we'd, uh, we'd do a video on the more technical side of the buffer, uh, sh the, the short stroke kit. So basically this is a short stroke kit, uh, you can buy it like that or you can buy the ultimate tuning kit which comes with the springs for the buffer and the, uh, the shims for the, uh, the tube there in the back. So anyway, um, so let's get to the point really. So, so basically let's, let's just have a quick look at how it works and why it works and, and, that, and that way you guys will understand it uh, completely and, and, and be able to make some adjustments from there on. So basically what it's going to do is we have uh, five different shims in our kit. is a mix and match com uh, combination with these. So you, you have the different triggers on the guns as such. So we included different uh, shims for different triggers. Uh, this gun, we have a hyperfire on this gun. We have the uh, POF on this gun and we have to raise the 525 on this gun. Um, and we're gonna be offering all these triggers with our guns going into the future. So we kind of designed a kit around these trigger packages. And so it should allow you really to tune anything you want with different loads and different uh, buffer spring combinations. So basically, let's just have a quick look at how it works. Um, the bolt is in the gun here. Obviously it's not in the gun, it's on the other side of the gun, but it's gonna be in the gun. And then we have a buffer here, which is gonna be behind it. And then you can see we have our, our short stroke shim it basically goes in there so the bolt moves oh dear the bolt moves backwards and then it's going to engage the um the buffer and it's going to it's going to shorten the stroke it's going to bottom out it's going to short, shorten the stroke a little earlier so so it gives a gun a different feel um it gives it kind of the impression of being faster um the dot track can be somewhat different you know depending on the, if that's what you're looking for you've got a, a, a kind of a quick a reset on that so you're able to basically take the uh the shims here and tune it. Now we do have these little shims in in with the kit. So so basically what happens is this shim is the major shim that you have in the back here as you can see and then of course you put your buffers in there and then you have these little stack shims it's a uh, three hundred thousandths, two hundred thousandths and one hundred thousandths. So from there onwards you can start with this one and you can tune you can tune it by putting these shims. Um, so just a quick tip, uh, when I'm tuning the gun, instead of trying to get these shims in the back here, which can be very awkward if you're out of the range and I'm tuning it, I'm just, I just take the gun apart and, uh, and, and put the shim on the, uh, oh yeah, I gotta get the uh, screwdriver that I dropped on the floor earlier, there you go. I, I take the gun apart and, um, and, put the, uh, and put the shim in the front here. So um, just behind the bolt. So that's where I stack the shim for tuning. Then once I got the setup I like, I can pull it all apart. Um, make sure that I got the uh, the correct um, the correct uh, shim in there, and that it's not um, it's not crooked or anything, and um, and it's set up to my liking. So just make sure that it's uh, that it's square in the tube there, that, that it's not it's not cock cock out like that in the tube. So just make sure it's straight. So it gives you a good opportunity to tune them. The other thing that you got here, you got the MBX buffer system, which is uh, adjustable in itself. So you got the long. You've got the longer stroke of the um, buffer system and the shorter, the shorter stroke by the two holes. So, so you get to re uh, you get to reduce um, the point at which the buffer contacts um, the bolt, uh, the back there. So you get it either contacts a little later if it's shorter, or if it's longer, it's going to contact a little earlier. So, so basically you can tune off of this too. This a little that's a little longer has more travel, and you'll see this one in the short hole. It's shorter and it has less travel there so um primarily that we found in testing is that really we seem to like it with the uh the buffer in the second hole it seems to be um with the short stroke kit seem, seems to be a little bit better um so it's going to be in the um let me see here it's going to be shorter there in the what i call the second hole you could call it the first hole second hole i don't know but anyway when it's shorter that's kind of what we like um a good place to start just be careful with these make make sure that you start Maybe with the smaller shim going up, make sure that the trigger resets. Um, make sure that you don't have the hammer falling or anything else or the following down. So you want to make sure that we do like to use the blue spring. It seems a great place to start. It's kind of soft. Um, great place to start with these two combinations, the shorter one, the blue spring. Put it together and then you can make your adjustments with your shims. And then you've got a little bit longer one. If that's what you want to end up using, you can stack that. Uh, again, it kind of depends on on your trigger reset. Um, these triggers all reset differently. Uh, the hyperfire, the POF and the raised, um, they all reset at different points and you have to make sure to get the bolt back to reset the trigger properly. So that's one of the points. And also you have to have a consistent load where the, where the load is always pushing the bolt back and it's, um, 
it's making sure to reset the trigger. So you may have to work on your loads a little bit with these, but if you're going to play the short stroke game, you're going to have to do a little bit of tuning on it. So um, just make sure when you're tuning on the gun that you always, uh, safety's first, you put one or two rounds in the magazine, you shoot it, you make sure that the gun is clear, um, you make sure that the gun is always safe when you're missing with the, uh, the actual stroking part of the firearm. Okay, I think that will just about cover it. Thanks.